guys, this is Laura from Doggy U, and today we're going to be talking about door manners. Do you have a dog that wants to rush out the door as soon as you start opening it, trampling everybody in the way, trying to get out to go for a walk, or get to their bowl outside, or chase squirrels, or whatever the case may be? Well, today we're going to show you how to teach a dog to wait politely as you open the door, wait for that cue that releases them to go outside. This can help with a lot of different behaviors, including setting yourself up for a nice walk, as well as having a dog that's not just trying to run out every door as soon as you open it. So we're going to use my dad's guide dog who's here for the holidays to practice this behavior. So you guys are going to be able to see how I start it and how I progress this behavior to a nice wait at the doorway. So let's get started. with Lyric, who is my dad's guide dog. Um, typically we wouldn't tell you the name of the guide dogs we're working with, but my dad's giving me the okay, so this is his guide dog. They're here for the holidays, and she is just like any other dog in that when she's out of harness, she is simply a dog. So what that means is that if she's not working, she's gonna do dog stuff, and she loves to go outside and play with her jolly ball. So today we're gonna work on her waiting politely at the door until released. So to get started, we're gonna start with our front door because the front door is exciting to her, but it's not as exciting as being able to go into the backyard. So we're gonna start on a door that she can be most successful at. So our goal when we start training is always to help the dog be as successful as possible. So let's first talk about position and position in relation to our door. What I wanna be doing when I'm setting my dog up for success at the door is I wanna be between the door and the dog. That helps me control the dog and helps me control the door. So what that looks like is I would be here, my door is behind me, and my dog, Lyric, is between, is it's dog, human, door. So now I have control of the door. I can also step in front of her if I need to if she goes to go running out the door. This is true whether you're training this behavior or any behavior. I want to kind of be able to monitor the dog so that the dog isn't just bolting out first. So position to start with is important. So for those dogs that are really excited about doorways, we want to start with just touching the door and rewarding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch my door handle, yes, and reward. And I'm using a mixture of her kibble and some snacks so she can train with her breakfast with a couple more high value things adding up uh, in there as well. If you notice her looking off to the her right quite a bit, my dad, her handler, is sitting off camera so she's really interested and super loyal to him in what he's doing. So so I'm gonna touch my door, yes, reward, okay? So touch door, oops. I'm gonna have her sit again, good. Touch door, yes, reward. Now I want this to be as error free as possible, which means I'm gonna be going, moving really slowly so that she can be successful. So touch door, yes, reward. Now I'm gonna open the door just slightly. So I'm gonna open, which I've locked the door, so that's hard. Unlock the door, yes, reward. Open door slightly, yes, reward. Okay, so notice I'm not calling it anything yet. What I want to get is the behavior of sitting politely at the door before I call it anything. Yes, good. Open door, yes. Now you'll notice she's not as interested in this door and that is on purpose. When we go over to the outside door uh, that goes to the yard, it will be a little more challenging for her, but she'll already have practiced this behavior, so it should be helpful for her. Open door, yes. Now I have a double door there, so there's actually no way for her to bolt out the door. If she were to bolt out and I had made an error in not rewarding her enough, the door would close so she can't go out. So the door is training the dog. The leash is just here for safety, um, just in case I need it. You don't have to use a leash, yes. Um, but I also know that if I don't leash her, she might run over to my dad and hang out with him because she really loves them. Open door, yes, reward. So I'm just rewarding for being in this vicinity, in the sit, while I open the door. Yes, very nice. So now I'm going to keep this other door open since she's being really successful with that. And we're going to move on to the inside door or your screen door. So I'm going to touch the handle, yes, reward. Touch the handle, open a little, yes, reward. Good. Open a little, yes, reward. Awesome. So she's not bolting out, which is perfect, which means it's about time for me to add the word that I want to use. The word that I'm going to use for this behavior is wait. Now, 
A lot of people might use stay. Uh, I'm gonna have her down while I talk to you about this. Down, good, stay. So a lot of people might use stay for a door behavior. I don't. Wait is my behavior that means you're releasing to something. So that could be going out the door. It could be uh, released to a food bowl. Anything where the dog is going to be momentarily pausing and then releasing to something is a wait. If I wanna do a stay, a stay means you might be there for a while and I'm going to return to you. So just hang out because it's gonna be a while. Um, so those are two different mindsets that I want the dog in. Stay is very long term. It could be, well, they're in a restaurant and they need to hold a stay under the table. Whereas wait is pause momentarily until I release you to a thing that you want, okay? So we're gonna use wait for this behavior. Now this was a stay because I was gonna be talking. So I'm actually going to reward her for her stay and then release her from it, free, um, using her release cue, okay? We're also gonna use a release cue for the door, which for our dogs is free, um, but you can use release. Try not to use okay, it's too, it's too used in sentences, so it can become a problem. So you wanna use release, free, uh, something like that, but something you don't say often. So I'm gonna have Lyric go into her sit again. Lyric, sit. Good girl. And then I'm going to do my door. I'm gonna say wait, open door, yes. Reward. Wait, open door, yes, reward. Now you'll notice my rate of reinforcement is really high and that is on purpose. I want her to be successful, okay? Great, great fit behavior to train with your morning kibble. Wait, open door, yes. Now, I'm gonna pull her a little closer and try to draw her a little bit away from getting excited about my dad. So we're gonna say wait, open door, yes. Now, when I'm ready to release her out the door, I'm gonna use her release word. I'm gonna say, wait, open door, free, and walk out the door. Okay, there, good girl, good. So that's what it'll look like. I can do that one more time. So I'm gonna say, wait, open my door. When I'm ready to release her, I say, free, and we go out the door. Good, very nice, awesome, okay. So now let's take that behavior to a more challenging door for her so you can see what that looks like. So now we're over at a much more exciting door for Lyric and you can see that she's already looking out, trying to find her jolly ball out there. If I start opening the door, she's gonna wanna squish her nose through it, right? She's very, very excited about going outside. So we've already practiced the easy door. She has a good foundation. So now we're gonna practice the hard door. If I had more time to do this, I'd probably spend more time generalizing doors that weren't as exciting as this door, but I wanna show you what that looks like. So again, I'm gonna put my butt to the door. I'm gonna put my dog, uh, me in between my dog and the door. So I'm gonna put Lyric here, here, and I'm gonna, yeah, so see, it's really even hard for her to stay away from the door. Good girl. So I'm gonna pay for sitting in front of the door to start with. Yes. 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 Okay. Now I'm gonna move on to touching the door. Touching door, yes. Reward. Touch door, yes. Now you can see her looking at that handle like, ooh, is she gonna open it? Touch door, oops. Sit. Good. Touch door, yes. Touch door, yes. Touch door, yes. So we're really just paying this sitting behavior. Touch door, yes. Touch door, yes. Now notice I'm not saying the W-A-I-T word yet because I want to make sure she's doing it successfully before I add in the word. So touch door, yes. Awesome, we're gonna open it a little bit. Yes. This is hard, but she did it. Yes. 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 Now every time I'm just opening it a little bit more. So now we're at about four inches. Yes. And eventually I'll get to leaving it open. But to start with, I'm closing it right up so that she can be successful. Yes, we're trying to make this as errorless as possible. If she were to try to go out the door, the door would close. Yes, but see my high rate of reinforcement allows her to be successful. Yes, open it more. Yes, 
So now I'm, I'm going to start asking for that weight. Weight. Yes. Now notice when I asked for the weight, I made it easier for her. I only opened it a few inches. Weight. Yes. Weight. Yes. Weight. Lovely. She's doing a great job. Weight. Yes. Now I'm going to hold it open for a little longer. Weight. Yes. Very nice. So she didn't break there, but I held it open too long there. Did you see how she almost broke? So I'm going to do a shorter one. Wait. Yes. Now, also, because this is a higher value area, I probably should have upped my treat ante from kibble to something better. I got a little bit of the good stuff in here, so I'll pull that out and start rewarding her with something a little bit better so that she can be more successful. So wait. Yes. Wait. Yes. And I realize this video is a lot of me just opening and closing doors, but this is the process for having your dog be successful. Wait. Open door. Oops. Shut door. Have her sit. Okay? So it's there. She got up. No cookie. I just shut the door and have her sit. Wait. Yes. So next I'm going to start treating her while the door is open. Wait. So I'm going to start with just opening it a little bit. Yes. Then I'm going to shut it. I'm going to pull some better stuff. Almost out of better stuff, so I might have to do a little reload here. Wait. Yes. 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 Ooh, and it's chilly out there. Good. Shut the door again. I want to get it till it's fully open and she's still waiting there. Wait. Yes, and she's doing fantastic because earlier today, if we had opened this door like this, she would be out there and playing already. Yes. Yes. Good. We'll do this one more time. Lyric. So she messed up a little, but she wasn't bolting, so that's okay. We're going to have her sit back. And notice, too, that she's enjoying sitting on the carpet a little bit more than the tile. Sometimes we'll slip quite a bit uh, when you're talking about putting them on tile. So having a mat or a rug is great. Um, I like to use cots or climbs as a place for my dogs to wait. But I know that in her house, there isn't really a spot for that. So we're just going to do it sitting on the floor. So lyric here. Lovely. So now I'm actually going to work with unclipping her collar or her leash so that it's more like it would be when we want to let her out to go play. Yes. So I unclip her leash. Reward. Yes. Reward. Touch the door again. Yes. Reward. Wait. Open a little. Yes. So notice I took that safety off. Open a little. Yes. Wait. Yes. Feed, feed, feed. And then we're going to end this video with releasing her. And I'm going to show you uh, a little bit about doing this with two dogs. Wait. Wait. I'm going to step away. Yes. Yes. So now I'm no longer putting my body between her and the door. I might preload a little bit, yes, um, so that I'm ready to reward her. Yes. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to give her her release word. Make sure the door is open enough. Yes. Lyric free. Good girl. <laughs> and she's off playing with her ball. Finally, let's talk about what to do if you have multiple dogs. 
to start with. You need to train each dog individually. It's not something that you can train together. You want to take each dog, practice at the door until they're fluent in the behavior, then add two dogs back in. Now, I don't typically use this door for this behavior, but this is the best way for you to see what's going on. Uh, so we're going to use this door today to work with my two dogs uh, on the weight behavior. Okay? So I've got my dogs here, we're ready to go. Uh, I have them in harnesses, they're ready for their walk. Whip, sit. Um, I have them sitting, my butt is to the door, I'm between my dogs and the door. I'm gonna start paying for touching the handle. So touch handle, yes. Now these dogs have a little bit stronger weight because we've practiced this behavior before. Wait, I locked the door on myself again. <laughs> go guys. I'm gonna unlock that door, wait. Yes. So they don't need as much of a warm up here because they've done this before. Wait. So I'm going to open this door all the way. Yes. Pay for it. Wait. Open this door. Yes. Now you can see Cool Whip's getting excited because she knows what's on the other side of this door and it's rabbits. Wait. Open the door all the way. Yes. Now I'm going to put my leash in the hands so that we're ready to go for a walk. Wait. Jake, you don't have to lie down a little, do you? Jake, sit. Good. All right. So he's got his leash a little tangled, so I'm going to fix that. He is ready to work because it is morning and it's time for work. All right. Wait. Open door. Oops. So I'm going to put Whip back in a sit. I'm going to pay Jake for that. Wait. I'm going to open it just a little. Yes. And pay Whip for that. So no big deal, we're not yelling at them, we're not getting upset with them or anything like that. And I'm actually going to give myself a little more leash. I like to use a multi-length leash. Um, this one is made by Blue Nine. I also have some leather ones that I really like, but it gives me the option of having a longer leash to work with when I want to and a shorter when I need to. So I'm gonna pay them for that, yes. My uh, marker was a little late there, oops. <laughs> Jake's ready to go. I'm gonna have him reset. Good. Wait. Open door. All the way. Yes. Now I'd like to see if I can get out the door, but I'm going to have to bring my dogs a little bit closer for me to get out the door. So I'm going to have them come to me. Come here, guys. Jake, sit. Whip. Whip. Jake, come here. Good boy. Whip, come here. Good girl. Sit. Now you'll notice Jake is a lot more enthusiastic, and that can put Whip off a little bit. So when I go to let them outside to the yard, I will release Whip first to the yard so that she doesn't get trampled by Jake, who's very enthusiastic. So I'm going to say, wait, I'm going to open my door all the way. There's a motorcycle outside, apparently. Yes. Good. Then I'm going to take a step outside. Wait. Yes. Good. Girl. Wait. Now we're politely waiting at the door. We're ready to go for a walk. So now I can release them to go outside whenever I feel like it. So we say wait. I'm gonna actually get their leash a little set up so it's not under his foot. You sneezing, dude? There we go. Wait. And then here, the release is the reward. Your sneezies? <laughs> oh my goodness. Open the door. Free. Once I'm able to have them wait at the door and release uh, politely, the next thing I'm probably going to work on is having them sit right outside of the door so that they're used to go out the door, sit, go out the door, sit. That way they're not like running crazy out the door. But that's beyond the scope of this video. Um, basically, you're just going to immediately reinforce the sitting outside the door. And you're going to go back to having the one dog do the behavior uh, and then do it with both dogs. Another thing you can work on is releasing by name. I want to do another video on how I get both of my dogs to stay up on a platform, release one to work while the other stays, and then switch them and have the other release and work. Um, so maybe I'll cover that in the scope of that video. But I think you get a good idea of how you should be working with your dog at the door so that you can get a controlled doorway opening, good doorway manners, and dogs that aren't just pushing to run out the door. Alright guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. If you hit the bell, you'll be notified every time we put out a new video, which is every week. 
We have videos on dog training, lifestyle tips, travel with your dog, band videos, all sorts of stuff coming out every week. If you have questions or comments, make sure you put them down below. I do answer all of those questions that you do have, and I also take suggestions for videos that you'd like to see. So thank you guys so much for watching. You have a great day and happy training. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video. Subscribe now and never miss an episode.